Um, so in this one, again, if we were going to focus on the algebra, fairly basic, x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x. Right? Fairly basic. OK. Um, now, a couple things we can do here, guys. Again, before we apply our operations, we can apply the even odd identities, right? We can rewrite this as a sine or negative sine of x times a negative sine of x plus 1. Now, let's go and apply our operation. So sine of x times sine of x. Notice again, guys, it's the sine of x, which is a function, right? Sine of x times the sine of x. So that's going to be you're combining both of them. So negative times negative is a positive. But notice I'm going to square the sine of x because it's the sine of x times the sine of x, right? You're not squaring the angle or just the x. You're squaring the whole function. And then negative sine of x times plus 1 is going to be a negative sine of x. Now, there is an alternative way to write the squaring. You could also write it like this. Okay, so you can put the square right outside of the sign. Just do not put the squaring with the x, because that means you're squaring the x, the angle of sine, which we're not doing or multiplying. Okay? All right, go ahead and apply those operations. And then once you guys have your problems up, let's go and put